dilemma is a situation where a person or a group of people is faced with a choice that is unpleasant on all sides. I'm Nathaniel Maxner. Alex Hayes. Mindy Lissa. Reagan Davis. Mark Childerly. And we're going to look at the United Beef Packers case. Three months into his position as assistant general manager at the United Beef Packers Blue River Processing Plant, John McCullough is already faced with a work environment that is physically and mentally unpleasant. The meat handling workers are faced with unsanitary and unsafe working conditions, regular industries, injuries, and a disregard for their health by the management at the plant. John has been asked to terminate the employment of an injured worker so that UBP no longer has to pay for his medical. John is co concerned about his own mental health and worried whether or not he can stay at the plant. With the health of his family and countless workers on the line, John is worried that he won't be able to make the decision that benefits everyone. Okay, for ownership and management, the American Meat Institute, a trade association representing uh, meat uh, packing companies, including United Beef Packers. Holy Pure Food took over the company uh, in the mid 1980s. John McCauley is the assistant general manager in the industry, and his job involves many operational demands, including um, working with the floor supervisor to make sure that everything is taken care of. Quickly. Greg Kramer is the assistant, uh, is the general manager of the company, and his job is to oversee the total cost of the company. So for the Canada strategy, the United Beef Packer is one of the best uh, functioning uh, beef packing industry in the United States. The processing line moves an average of uh, 350 cattle per hour. When it comes to E. coli uh, uh, infection outbreak, uh, the company holds a press conference uh, to announce uh, to announce a recall and show that they have nothing to hide. This will add value to the name. Beef Packers uses radio broad uh, Mexican radio broadcasts to attract more workers. They keep their company names clean and trustworthy. They do this by uh, selling their not high quality or second um, beef to other brands. For key factor, the United Beef Packer is represented by American Meat Institute. They have a high turnover rate, um, which prevents the workers from uh, forming a union. United Beef Packer is self-insured, which means the company has to pay for all the medical uh, workers' medical treatment. So they force their workers to sign a waiver, which uh, prevents them from getting an outside medical opinion and uh, seeing a non-company doctor or suing the company. For competition, United, uh, United Beef Packer competes in a highly competitive uh, beef packing industry. In the year 2000, the top four companies, including United Beef Packer, received 82% of the beef available for sale in the United States. They maximize, uh, they maximize their expense uh, because most of their, meat, uh, most of their meat processing plant employees are immigrant, legal, and otherwise. Meat consumption in the United States uh, nearly doubled in the last year. Okay, so the SWOT analysis. Um, as you can tell by the intro, you can obviously tell there's not many strengths to this case. Uh, one of the strengths being that John McCullum actually has a conscience and he, considering all the factors moving in it, coming into this place. Uh, there are only two aspects of the case that consider strength. Uh, exhibit one is the uh, fairly stable in the past 12 years and the general manager has a mental, mentally of product at any cost to increase the number of cattle slaughterhouse per hour will increase in the US. Uh, for weaknesses, um, that it is not safe for workers, not only for their health, and it's pretty dirty. Uh, another, another weakness would be that the safety guards in the place with the lack of like using the heavy equipment for the slaughtering, um, pe people are often getting hurt which is obviously a weakness for the company, having to pay them while they're hurt. Opportunity. Uh, some of the opportunities for this uh, could be a couple ways that John McCollum actually goes out and talks to somebody about it and helps out with the company. Uh, another opportunity would be that John just lets it keep going on, fires him, does his job, works day to day, and, and threats. Uh, obviously, like we said, that there's a lot of uh, competitiveness to this market, as there's a lot of a lot of companies out there trying to compete to be the best. Uh, selling secondhand 
meat obviously lowers your lowers your name and also by having so many employees that are injured and quality of life in the factory going down. We also talked about the imports of workers could be uh, outported and that would obviously be a threat to the major company. Okay, so for presentation options, we have selected five options. Option one being leave United Beef Packers, which would be leaving and hopefully finding another job that will satisfy him more. The pros of that is that John McCullough would not be working at United Beef Packers anymore, but the, pro the cons would be Bobby Vasquez would still be terminated and will have to find another job. The workers will be treated poorly in poor working conditions, and the managers in the company will still be corrupt. For option two, involuntary exit pass package, uh, an employer will lay him off, giving him a severance. Uh, the pros is Bobby Vasquez will still have enough money uh, to go search for a new job. Uh, the cons is John McCullough will most likely be fired. Uh, and if McCullough is not fired, he's still working at UBP, which he does not enjoy. Option three, constructive dismissal. A fundamental violation of the rights of an employee by the employer, so severe that the employee would have the right to consider him as dismissed. The pros of that is Bobby Vasquez will no longer be working at United Beef Packers. And the cons is Bobby Vasquez can sue UBP, and it will be John McCullough's fault. Another con would be John McCullough will be still working at the United Beef Packers. Option four, status quo. Um, terminate his employment and continue with regular work. Uh, the pros is John McCullough will not be fired uh, because uh, he terminated the employee. Uh, cons, John McCullough will continue to work for the company, which he very, very does not like. Uh, the worker will be treated per poorly and unfair, uh, and the risk of legal issues and also uh, safety issues for his family as well. And the final option, report uh, United Beef Packers to the American Beef Institute and to the police. Um, report the current issues with the company, uh, hoping to fix current problems, create a safer environment, um, and report any potential violation of illegal uh, policies or any illegal actions within the company. The pros is the AMI the police will find out about the corruption of the company. Uh, the workers may have a chance of being treated better and the AMI will get a new board for the company and new management. Uh, cons, John McCall will not have a job, which could affect his family very badly. Um, if the report goes forward, there's always the chance that it might not happen, that it might not get done, and the plant may shut down, which will also uh, terminate everybody else's at the plant's job. For decision time cr uh, criteria, uh, we have four uh, time, Time is important because uh, whether, depending on what he does, uh, McCullough's still there and he doesn't want to be there as much as possible. Um, time will be evaluated based on weeks because it would have to be pretty quick action. Um, for an option to be recommended, the time frame must be a maximum of two weeks. Uh, for the second decision criteria, we have effectiveness. The effectiveness of the option will determine what McCullough will do. That's, based, that's evaluated on a scale of one to 10. Um, one being not very effective and 10 being very effective. For an option to be recommended, it must be above seven. Uh, the third one is satisfaction. The satisfaction of McCullough is important because he is the decision maker in this conflict. The satisfaction will be evaluated on a scale from negative five to five, negative five being not, no satisfaction at all and five being very satisfied. And to recommend an option, it must be above three. And the final one is injury prevention. So clearly uh, one of the main concerns is injuries and whether compared to what, depends on what option he makes should help prevent injuries and make it a more safe, safer work environment. So for an option to be recommended, the percentage must be at least above 20% of a safer environment. So for our evaluation matrix, we have laid out here uh, all of the decision criteria and the options. One of the uh, big problems that John is faced with with time to implement is the possibility that uh, he may not have full control over the situation. So one of the issues with this case is that John isn't the primary decision maker. He doesn't have complete control over what happens at the end of the day because he has people who are uh, overseeing him like Kramer or if, say, he was to pursue option five, he would have to go through the police and a whole legal system. 
So it could uh, be a relatively quick process, or it could take a lot longer, depending on what problems he runs into. With effectiveness, um, this depends on how he handles the situation. So for him leaving, uh, he would be fairly satisfied because then he doesn't have to worry about his own mental health or the safety and health of his family. Uh, but he would then be leaving all these workers uh, to their fate uh, as employees at the United Beef Packers, and that may uh, take a heavy toll on his conscience going forward in his life. Uh, and with the rest of the options, uh, terminating Vasquez's employment is going to have another heavy toll uh, on his conscience and uh, disobeying Kramer's wishes may also provide him with a lot of stress, especially because Kramer, being uh, his direct boss, could fight him uh, if he chose to pursue option two, which would provide Vasquez with the severance needed to pay his medical bills. With satisfaction, this is how he feels at the end of it. So whether he feels he's done the morally right choice it's not something you can really quantify, but it depends on when he's through the situation, at the end of his choice, whether he decides to terminate Vasquez's employment in one of the various ways, or report to the police, or just leave. It depends on how he feels, which is not something you can really justify uh, with the number, but you have to think about it and put yourself in his shoes and question what you would do in the situation. For injury prevention, leaving doesn't prevent any injuries and neither does status quo. Uh, and for the other ones, it's kind of iffy. So these two, while uh, two and three, while they would prevent more injury to Vasquez while he, because he would be dismissed, it won't really have an effect on the uh, number of injuries faced by the other employees unless he chooses to take a more direct approach and confront Kramer about what's happening. For option five, there's a chance that the police could come in and the American uh, Meat Institution could uh, enforce some new rules which would result in more safety measures, but that's up to them. It's a big legal mess and it would likely take a long time to implement such a plan. Reporting will only take approximately three weeks, which is a long period of time, however, it would have the most effect. The effectiveness of reporting the situation got the highest score, which is a nine, because reporting what happened will stop, will stop the corruption of the managers and it will help the employees in the United Beef Packers. Additionally, the satisfaction rate got the highest score, which is a four, because McCall will be satisfied that he helped the workers and stopped the corruption in the industry. The pros of reporting to the American Meat Institute and the local police board will help find out about the corruptions and poor working industries in the United Beef Packers. Additionally, the workers in the United Beef Packers would have a chance of being treated fairly because of their poor working conditions. However, the cons of reporting is that the employees may be deported because they, are, they might be illegal immigrants. Based on the problem statement, John McCall reporting to the American Meat Institute and to the police will help the unpleasant working conditions and moral dilemmas. McCall does not want to fire Bobby because he suffered a heart attack and now he, can, and, and now he is unable to work. Therefore, instead of McCall firing Bobby, he will report the United Beef Packers and would not fire him. The implementation plan. On August 3, 2003, McCall researches the laws and agencies that will help cover the situation at hand. On August 7, 2003, McCall decides to report to the local police station and send an official letter to the American Meat Institute. On August 12, 2003, McCall requests a police officer to come to the Blue River plant to investigate the poor working conditions. On August 18, 2003, the police officers will commence their investigation on the United Beef Packers. On August 21st, 2003, the American Meat Institute will send a representative to the Blue River plant to help, in to help inspect the issues provided, 
in the letter while the police officers would inspect the poor working conditions. Thank you for listening. If you have any questions, we'd be happy to answer them.